so there's been a lot of discussion recently about pH in your reef aquarium and how important it is to elevate that pH, keep it elevated and stable. It really helps it a lot in the growth of corals, coralline algae, and the stability overall in the aquarium. Today we're going to go in and take a look at a new reactor that we designed that we're under construction with now and talk about how it's going to work. Ah, we're painting the building now too. What color are we painting the building, Ed? Gray. Gray. So, currently we have a Deltec, I believe it's a KM500 calc reactor on this particular aquarium, calc stirrer. And that calc stirrer works pretty well. I've got pH going anywhere from A3 at the high at the end of the day, like about 6 p.m. when the lights are going off, and as low as 8.1 overnight. Even with the calc going in overnight, there's not enough calc to stabilize that pH and keep it at 8.3 and maybe take it to 8.5. So we designed a brand new system, and this is kind of the, uh, what I would call dinosaur and me. Just draw it, write it down, and draw a little map. And I'll show you the updated version of that. Maybe we'll show that on the video as well. The whole idea is to have this triple calc reactor with the stirrers going here. We have a magnetic stirrer. We're building a big shelf in the closet that's gonna keep it tight to the wall. These pipes will go real close together. These reactors will all get very close to each other with the pipes coming through. And you'll have your RO water in here. Your lid won't have as many screws on it. You'll take that off, but your water level will be somewhere about here. And your stirrer will go on in the day time to stir the calc washer and then it'll go off and let it settle for at least six hours so that your calc stays down to the bottom down here. Then at night after 6 p.m. when you're at a three you'll be able to start pulling in water from here connect it to your Neptune Apex DOS system and that's gonna meter in the approximately eight gallons a day that this aquarium evaporates. Inside this vessel is about seven gallons. It's sealed. There's a purge valve here to purge the air out by gravity coming all the way down. Same here. You purge the air out. And that air interface is what causes the uh, pH in the vessel to go down from a typical 12 with a high calc washer solution. And what it'll do is it'll pull out of here and then this area right here will bring new RO water that'll fill this vessel which again is about the same volume of this vessel. The one in the middle helps if we want to administer more. So if we wanted to administer more, it could suck down literally all the water in this one and this one because the pipes go down to the bottom and you'd bring fresh calc in on a timed basis daily. You'll have your pH probe right here so we can watch what the pH is through this port right here. And again, there's gaskets on the top. It's sealed really well. So these will not have an air in Interface. Once a week, you'll go over here, get the stirrer running in the morning, and open this valve and purge all the water through to drain out the calc effluent, we'll call it, which is leftover uh, calc powder, and then take the lid off, put a new cup of calc in here, and then start the process all over again for the next week. We're not sure how many cups of calc we're going to put in here yet, but we'll figure that out as we get it up and running. Let me show you where it's gonna go. It's a pretty cool situation to have operating. So we're gonna move the couch stirrer out and we've measured it out. It'll fit right in this corner. We'll take the, the reed out of the way and the calc reactor, the three blue units will get mounted on a white PVC shelf. They'll have brackets up here to hold them safely in place. And as a matter of fact, it's gonna look pretty cool too. As this drains in, it'll get picked up by the DOS systems in the wall up here. We'll probably put it in the overflow box so that it gets good agitation when it goes through the system, it doesn't go straight to the pumps. That high pH water at about a 12, which is a really interesting application of a calc reactor. And then you'll see the corals. I mean, we've got great growth right now. My gut feeling is we're just gonna have explosive growth once we get the pH in this aquarium going up to the 8.3 level continuously. You can see how much that green slimer is going. It's a lot of really good growth on the Acroporas. And we're maintaining a, a reasonable DKH and calcium level, but with that much calc going in very consistently, it's gonna work out fantastic. 
So we've got everything ready here to plant the three reactor vessels together. And Buddy built this really great shelf here, very secure on the spot. Here's where the drain line goes on, the valve will go underneath here, and it's a really industrial strength shelf. So I'm gonna place these in here one at a time, and then we'll see how they line up. So there's your first one here. Boy, I hope they fit. Here's your second one there. Oh God, I'm getting running out of space. And here's the real heavy big one that's taller than me almost here. God bless, I hope it fits and works out. Oh man, right. So now we'll put the unions together real quick. Basically water will come in down. It'll get stirred with a stirrer that's gonna go underneath here. We'll have another shelf for that. We have the close valve when we wanna drain that one and clean out the vessel. But typically the water, the calc water that's mixed and settled will go because this is gonna be the upside. It's gonna pull the calc with no air engagement in there through the vessel into here, down through this vessel into here and down to the bottom of this. So all the clean calc will be coming up at this point only with the air gap. You can see the air releases here because the vessels are all in sequence. So we'll be able to purge all the air out except for this little void up here, but it's sealed from the new air. Only RO water will come in. So we'll be able to drain this vessel and literally drain this vessel to this point. That much water calc per day can go in overnight via the DOS system. It's gonna be really awesome. Remember to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week.